All right, so this first video notes is to go over long division and synthetic division, which we've talked about in class, and you told me that you had done it before. Um, so this is hopefully just going to refresh your memory a bit. So let's see. I like to start with just numbers so that we remember the process for dividing long division. <clears throat> so when we did long division back in like third, fourth grade, um, we asked ourselves a couple questions. We started with how many times does 63 go into 1? It doesn't. So then we go on to 63 goes into 17. It doesn't. 63 goes into 172. Well, it goes in twice, and then we multiplied to get 126 and we subtracted to get the remainder. And our remainder here is 46, and then we brought down the next number. And we went through that process again. How many times does 63 go into 460? Goes in seven times. Multiply seven times 63, we get 441. Remainder 19, there's nothing left, so we would say 19 over 63 or remainder 19. So that was when it was just numbers. <clears throat> when we, we do it with polynomials, we go through the same questions in our process. We just have to consider that there's letters involved. Okay. So we're only going to look at the first term of our outside polynomial. What do we have to multiply x by to get 5x squared? Well, we need to multiply it by a 5 and an x. So then we multiply everything outside by 5x. So 5x times x will give us 5x squared. 5x times negative 4 will give us negative 20x. But we're subtracting, and we have to distribute that negative. <clears throat> so when we distribute the negative, this will become plus, and the this will become minus. So these will cancel out, and here we'll get 3x. Bring down the next term. What do you have to multiply x by to get 3x? 3, and then we'll multiply 3 by everything, so 3x minus 12. And again, we're subtracting, so we have to distribute the negative. So when we do that, this is going to become a plus, that'll be minus. So again, those will cancel out, and we'll get 10. So we'll say 5x plus 3 plus 10 over what we divided by, x minus 4. And that would be your final divided answer. Okay, so we'll, we're going to do one more where we use a slightly different type of polynomial. Um, and then we'll go into synthetic division and how to tell when you can do long division and when you can do synthetic division. So we're going to do another long division. It's going to be given to us in a different way though. So x to the fourth plus 5x to the third, plus 6x squared, minus x, minus 2, divided by x plus 2. <clears throat> so when you're given a problem, like in this format where you have a polynomial divided by a polynomial, which one goes outside, which one goes inside? So this is where we have to kind of think about Okay, what are we dividing by? We're dividing by x plus 2, so that has to go on the outside. And we're dividing x to the fourth plus 5x to the third plus 6x squared minus x minus 2 by that. So what do we multiply x by to get x to the fourth, x to the third? And then we'll multiply x to the third by everything out here. 
and then we have to subtract. So don't forget to distribute the negative. So, whoops, that should be a four. So these will cancel out, five. I don't know why I have two pluses there. Five minus two, after distributing the negative, it'll become a minus. We'll get three x to the third. Bring down the six x squared x times what gives us 3x to the third? 3x squared. So then we'll multiply. And subtract. And what happens here is everything cancels out. <clears throat> so we'll bring down the next number. And for the this polynomial because I know I have two terms. I'm going to bring down the next two so I have something to add. So x times what gives us negative x? Negative 1. So we'll have negative x, negative 2. We subtract. Everything cancels. So that means we won't have a remainder. This divided evenly and gave us, again, I don't know why I'm rewriting it wrong x to the third plus 3x squared minus 1 would be our answer, meaning there's no remainder, this divided evenly. Okay, so the we're going to do one more of these in class just to make sure you guys are good with long division because long division is how we have to do some problems because um, synthetic only works on a very specific type. So if you don't have that specific type, you have to do long division. So we will come across some where synthetic won't work and you have to do long division. So we'll make sure in class that you know how to do long division. Okay, the second half is synthetic. Now to note, synthetic only works when dividing by x minus something or x plus something. So we could have used synthetic on this last one because it was in that form of x minus something, but if you're ever dividing by something like x squared plus 2x plus 1, synthetic won't work there. It has to be in this form of x minus c. There cannot be a coefficient of x or anything. It has to be x minus c. So let's try one with synthetic and then we'll save one for class. So our synthetic example, we're gonna be dividing 5x squared minus 17x minus two divided by x minus four. <clears throat> so when we start this one, we're gonna take the number here and we're gonna go opposite of it. So instead of negative four, we're gonna write positive four. I'm gonna put it in a little box off to the side. Next to it, I'm gonna write just the coefficients of my polynomial. So I had a five x squared, a negative 17 x, and a negative two. If ever you're missing one, so like let's say there wasn't an x value, it was just five x squared minus two, you have to put that zero placeholder in for every coefficient, um, whether the variable to that power is a part of it or not, to make sure every place value is hit. And we're actually under the one we do in class tomorrow, we're gonna have to insert some placeholders. So <clears throat> we've got our synthetic division set up. Start by bringing down the first number. Then you multiply, four times five is 20. Then you add. Multiply again, four times three is 12. Then you add. This number at the end is your remainder. How you write your answer is you go one degree less than what you started with. 
So we started with x squared. One degree less than that is x, and that means this is now a constant. So we'd have 5x plus 3 plus 10 over x minus 4 as our final answer. Okay, <clears throat> so that's synthetic, but again, it only can be used when we have x minus c. So we're going to do another synthetic in class where it has some zero placeholders that we need to account for. So when you're done with this, go ahead um, and start, get ready for the next set because we're going to do um, nine four notes tonight also where we look at how we actually use this division to go ahead and graph, uh, help us graph.